Hey, what's up? I think it might be time for you guys to upgrade your little pick or nano in your sumo robots to something like this. This is a custom ESP32 S3 board that I designed specifically for operating in high powered robots like the ones you guys have, which can be programmed with Arduino just like an Atmel chip, but has way more memory, processing speed, interfaces, electrical protection, and even wireless capabilities, which give you a whole lot more flexibility with your bot. Here, let me show you. This is an Arduino Nano based Sumo robot from JSumo which integrates five digital distance sensors, two line sensors for sensing the edges of the ring, and four high-powered motors. To start the program wirelessly, you'll need an infrared receiver compatible with Sony IR remotes, but it isn't that secure and also looks kind of clunky. And here's my robot, which I'll be entering into the 2024 Rubber Rave International Competition. It also has four high-power motors and some digital distance sensors, but also this special I2C sensor, which senses an 8x8 grid of distances up to 4 meters using a library that would fill up an Arduino storage capacity three times over. We also have four line sensors instead of two on this thing since we have enough GPIOs, and current and voltage sensing for the motors thanks to my custom built ESC. I'll be going into more detail about that in future videos, but for now, let's take a look at the little board that I designed and what exactly makes it so much better, in my opinion, for robotics and not just software development or Internet of Things as most ESP32 boards are. While I will admit that this board's layout isn't as efficient as it could be since I designed it in 6 hours, we do pack a lot of cool features in here. First of all, your standard Arduino Nano has an input voltage of 7 to 12 volts through an LDO, which outputs half an amp and lets you use a very wide variety of battery chemistries and arrangements. Whereas my board allows for up to 36 volts with this buck converter, so you'd be able to safely use all of these batteries at more than 80% efficiency and have as many sensors as you want running off the output thanks to the 2.5 amp current capability. So far, I haven't seen a single ESP32 development board which even gets close to these numbers, and I still don't understand why. They're all meant to run off a little one cell LiPo or USB power, and most don't have any protections in place, which basically makes damage to the ICs inevitable. Probably another reason why I haven't seen any sumo robots use ESP32. Higher end dev boards will come with EST protection on the USB port, like the Arduino Nano ESP32 and Pro S3, but something I've never seen an ESP32 board have is reverse polarity protection, and of course, both are included on this board. As is standard with the Arduino boards you're used to, you can have a battery plugged in and plug in USB at the same time to program it, or vice versa, but this did take up a pretty large portion of the board space. So, how would you go about integrating my board into your own robot? Starting with the pinout, you no longer have to worry about PWM being specific to just a few pins, as is seen with the at mega chips used in classic Arduinos. With ESP32 S3, you can use up to 8 of at least 29 usable GPIOs as PWM pins at any time. To output PWM signals, instead of analog write, you can use LEDC setup LEDC attach, and finally LEDC write to initialize a PWM channel with a resolution, assign it to the GPIO you want, and make it output a signal based on a duty cycle respectively. This is kind of annoying, but does give you more control over the signal, which is useful when you're driving motors. To read analog signals from IR sensors with an ESP32 S3, analog read is still used and automatically set at the maximum 12-bit resolution, as opposed to the 10-bit of most at mega chips. Unfortunately though, the ADC channels of the ESP32 S3 are still restricted to certain GPIOs, so you want to use GPIO 1 to 10, which makes 10 channels instead of 8. Digital read and write are using the normal functions, but from my experience, always set your pin mode for all GPIOs you're using or else you'll for sure get issues when using ESP32 S3. Another thing is when you import libraries, you'll need to check for compatibility with ESP32, 
and sometimes you'll even need to search for specific libraries for the ESP32-S3 chip, like ones used for driving a servo due to chip timer things. But it's a worthy sacrifice for the hundreds of libraries that you can use now. As I was saying before, another great thing about the ESP32-S3 is its wireless capabilities. And you no longer need one of those infrared start modules because you can choose any other ESP32 based board to act as a start remote through ESP Now. You can even get one with a display or a touchscreen display. And like many other things, it comes in various shapes and sizes up to 7 inches. To get started with ESP32 S3 and Arduino IDE, Follow either one of these guides by random nerd tutorials, depending on which Arduino version you are used to. I'll be giving away one of my boards for free to someone who posts a nice little comment containing the word induction, and likes and subscribes. If you sign up for a paid membership before the draw and happen to win, you'll also receive a mystery gift worth $50 on top of my custom board. We're drawing it at 10k since we have other giveaways going on before then, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much to PCBWay for sponsoring my channel with high quality assembled PCBs like the ones you saw in this video, which arrived with 330 assembled components in packages down to as small as fractions of a millimeter in just two weeks after ordering the boards. I mean, that's crazy, and not only that, they also offer 3D printing and CNC machining services. So you can get all the parts manufactured for a fully custom robot like this one at PCBWay. If you want to try them out, click the first link in the description, or type in your favorite browser pcb.hasindustries.com and sign up and go order something. Thanks so much, I'll see you in the next one.